Hey, it's Heather, and today I'm talking about healthy choices because January was Healthy Choice Month at my daughter's elementary school, and we had this lovely event where parents who were fitness instructors and nutritionists came and talked about healthy choices, and of course chefs, and I, of course, was cooking. And I made two steamed vegetable dishes with sauces, and the thing is, it worked. The kids really like the vegetables in the sauces. I also want to talk about a book I just finished, um, Mark Bittman, Food Matters. The basic premise is lose weight, heal the planet. It is about eating more plants and less meat, doing it sustainably. He lost 40 pounds uh, by doing this diet. Basically, he, he does this vegan before six. Well, six o'clock, which that might not exactly be what I'm going to do, but I'm really making an effort uh, at having for some time less meat, more vegetables. So today I'm going to do a simple Wednesday night, throw together meal, double veg, a nice high quality portion of uh, chicken and a whole grain pasta. Okay. So the first order of business for dinner is to get our chicken in the oven. I have the oven set to 400 degrees. I live at 400 degrees. That's like my default temperature and I'm cooking uh, chicken thighs, plain and simple. I like it. Good eco packaging. So I'm just going to um, give it a quick rinse and right in my bowl. Now you can do chicken thighs with any kind of seasoning. They are really very flexible. Today I'm going to do something very simple, which is soy and lime. I like the combination and you can marinate this for a while, but it is not essential. Just toss it up a little bit. You can put a little extra pepper and salt on it, especially if you use low sodium, just a touch if you like, and bake it off until it's really done. I like my thighs and my legs done uh, well. It just gives a better texture. Okay, now I'm ready to move on to the thing that takes the second longest, which is our grain. And I have here Near East Whole Grain Blend. Now this is essentially a good product because it is introducing whole grains in a really tasty way. Tons of fiber. Downside, uh, a lot of sodium. Uh, so what I tend to do is I don't use the whole spice packet. They have this little spice packet. So I'm going to put in my whole grain. In this case, it is um, bulgur, which is quite delicious. And I don't want to use the whole thing. I like to have little toasted um, orzo. I'm going to use that. Just scoop it out. And just a little bit of the spice packet. I just don't need the whole thing. It's better to add your own seasoning. A little pepper. Need a little olive oil in there. And that should do it. This should take about 20 minutes covered. All right, now we're doing the last bit of the dinner, which is the vegetables, and I am steaming them. I have broccoli and I have string beans, and I'm going to make little sauces that go with each one. For the broccoli, I'm going to do a lemon sauce, and for the string beans, I'm going to do a Dijon sauce. These sauces can be used with other vegetables, of course. Use them as you'd like. So first, could not be easier. It's basically a vinaigrette, for the broccoli, instead of vinegar, you're using lemon. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon or so and the juice of a lemon. And this is, you know, one of those things kids can help you out with. It was a really fun activity at the school and you just whisk it. And the nice thing, you really get an emulsion. And I'm doing this right in the bowl that I'm going to serve it in so that you just toss it. It's not something that holds particularly well, I find. You know, you toss it and serve it. It doesn't go bad. It's just that it loses some of its vibrancy. And you can add a pinch of cayenne or Tabasco for the grown-ups, which is really good. And now I'm going to do my ever so versatile mustard sauce, which is essentially the same deal, except instead of lemon, we're going to do mustard. And this is something that works really great with asparagus, Brussels sprouts. Um, and if you do with the green beans, like I'm doing here, I often, um, if I have some red potatoes, toss it with that. It's almost like a potato salad you can make. Just about a teaspoon. And again, whisk it. It's where it's the extra effort. And again, a little pepper, a touch of salt. So, and these are here waiting. For when my vegetables are ready, you just dump it, coat it, bring it to the table. 
All right, so here is my healthy choice meal. I have um, my chicken, size of a deck of cards, that's your standard. Uh, of course, I know chicken skin isn't really good for you, but I'm not trying to like do everything all at once. This is small steps. I have double veg, which is great, and I'm using a whole grain. So I'm gonna you know, keep my skin, but by all means, take it off. The mustard sauce here that goes with the uh, string beans, lovely on the chicken not to mention salmon. You could even work Dijon on a steak. So this is a really good side to have. Also, the green beans do great room temperature. They do not have to be hot. Now, not everything on this plate is organic. Um, I like to do things that are local and sustainably grown, but you know, you do what you can. The broccoli is conventionally grown. Go to the website organic.org, hit the dirty dozen. It tells you which produce, if you have to forego organic, which ones you can do. Broccoli is on that list where, you know what? do conventional broccoli if you're tight. So that's what I have here. And of course, I'm going to have wine with it because wine is perfectly healthy in moderation, of course. And I've chosen La Spigola, a white Sicilian. It is really food friendly, has a lot of nice vegetable qualities that will pair beautifully with this dish. And it's $10 a bottle. What could be better than that? So I'm going to do my thing and have a taste. It's a lovely meal, really healthy. Mark Bittman would be proud, I hope. Um, so please, for wines, for recipes, and much, much more, including that link to the Dirty Dozen and um, Certified Humane, please hit my website, sogood.tv. Thanks.